Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. SpaceX will have to wait a bit longer to send its next generation Starship on an orbital journey. The Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA, has been conducting an environmental assessment of the facilities at Boca Chica as part of a larger suit of approvals for Starship's launch license. Previously, Starship has only been going up and down in the air without breaking into space. SpaceX's review generated a high number of comments and interest on the draft review, the FAA said in an update. And there has also been many discussions and consultation efforts with consulting parties. SpaceX has been aiming to launch Starship on its first orbital test flight in January or February, provided that the US Federal Aviation Administration wrapped up a programmatic environmental assessment of the company's South Texas launch site by December the 31st as planned. But that timeline no longer applies. The FAA announced on Tuesday, December the 28th, that it has pushed the release date of the final PEA back to February 28th, citing the high volume of comments submitted on the draft PEA and discussions and consultation efforts with consulting parties. Members of the public submitted more than 18,000 comments about the draft PEA, which was released on September the 17th, FAA officials wrote in an update. A pair of virtual public hearings in October generated a mixed bag of feedback. Many advocated for the proposed launch site, calling it critical to the nation's future in space, the blog reported. Others pointed out that the economic benefits of SpaceX calling the Texas zip code home. Opponents, however, argued that the draft PEA underestimates massive environmental impacts, including the already dwindling number of nearby nests belonging to threatened piping plover birds. Launch pad critics went so far as to ask that, before granting any SpaceX license, the FAA develops an environmental impact statement, which could take months or even years, stalling the aerospace company's plans. Now, there is chatter that the FAA may delay the process beyond the end of February. The completion of the environmental review process does not guarantee that the FAA will issue an experimental permit or vehicle operator license for SpaceX or for Starship slash Super Heavy launches at Boca Chica. SpaceX's license application must also meet FAA safety, risk, and financial responsibility requirements per 14 CFR Chapter 3. Whenever the process reaches a conclusion, the FAA is expected to issue one of three rulings. A finding of no significant impact, FONSI, a mitigated FONSI, or a notice of intent to prepare an environmental impact statement. A FONSI would allow the formal launch licensing process to proceed. If a full environmental impact statement is needed, launches from South Texas would likely be delayed by months, if not years, as more paperwork is completed. SpaceX is developing Starship to get people and cargo to the Moon, Mars, and other deep space destinations. NASA has already signed up for the ride, choosing Starship as the first crewed Moon lander for the agency's Artemis Lunar Exploration Program. The huge vehicle consists of two fully reusable elements, a first stage booster called Super Heavy, and a 165 foot tall spacecraft known as Starship. Both will be powered by SpaceX's next-generation Raptor engine, 6 for Starship and about 30 for Super Heavy. Starship prototypes have flown before, on roughly 6.2-mile-high hops into the skies above Starbase, SpaceX's facility near the South Texas village of Boca Chica. But the upcoming orbital test flight will be a much more ambitious endeavor, launching a Starship atop a Super Heavy for the first time ever. We could see that launch as soon as March, because SpaceX already plans to be ready when it gets the green light. The FAA approval is the scheduled driver, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk said via Twitter in response to a question 
about the test flight's target date. Musk's long-term aim is to use Starship for landing people on Mars, but in the short term, they do have a viable program contract. NASA plans to use Starship as the human landing system to put astronauts on the moon as part of the Artemis program. The first landing was pushed back to 2025 from 2024 due to several issues, including some legal challenges associated with the sole source contract. But SpaceX now has the authorization to proceed with development from a legal side. That said, the company also has to get its Starship technically ready. There are a hundred critical funding and technical as well as regulatory hurdles that must be leaped before humans launch on a mission to Mars. If it happens in the next 10 years, it would be a miracle. But also, it won't happen in our lifetimes unless Starship is a success. Such are the stakes of SpaceX's effort. Just this week, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk announced plans to give an update on his company's next-generation Starship rocket next Thursday morning. The presentation will come more than two years after Musk's last update on the vehicle in 2019. Musk will speak at Starbase, the South Texas facility where SpaceX builds and tests Starship vehicles. And the billionaire entrepreneur recently revealed that a fully stacked Starship will be part of the show. As backdrops go, this is a good one, Musk said via Twitter on February 6th. He was replying to a tweet by Tesla Rati, which posted a story Sunday about the Starship stacking. The stacking involves the super heavy called Booster 4 and the Starship prototype SN20, serial number 20. This duo will launch on the Starship program's first ever orbital test flight, a milestone that's currently targeted for early March. SpaceX has stacked Booster 4 and SN20 before. The company did so last August, briefly creating a 395-foot-tall behemoth, the biggest launch vehicle ever built. For comparison, NASA's Saturn V moon rocket stood 363 feet. Thursday's update should be a substantial one. It will be the first in-depth Starship progress report that Musk has given since September 2019. Musk originally unveiled SpaceX's plans for what would eventually become its Starship program in 2016. Since then, the company has rapidly built and sometimes destroyed several iterations of Starship prototypes, while also securing a NASA contract to use Starship vehicles to land astronauts on the moon under the agency's Artemis program. In recent months, SpaceX has begun restarting operations at a Starship worksite near Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Is it doing so in case the company needs to pivot its Starship program from South Texas to Florida? Again, hopefully, Musk will share SpaceX's view on launch site availability. With this, we have come to the end of our video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.